Hey there tubers. This video is a, a part two or a, a follow-up or a, a continuation, whatever you like to call it, of the last video I did which was the second and third hydraulic remote installation on this Bobcat CT5555. What happened on the last video was that uh, I got the second and third hydraulic remote kits from Bobcat and both of them came with the second hydraulic remote bolts so the tractor came with one remote in it already and when you start stacking these remotes you have to go to longer bolts and they sent me two kits with the bolts for only the second remote addition. So they ended up being too short uh, to do the third one so had to take the third one back off and just uh, run with the two remotes that I've got here. So I finally got the bolts in. Took them three weeks to get them but uh, they did come in and you can see the difference here. Uh, on the left there is the uh, bolts for the single remote. Uh, the middle one is for a two remote and the uh, right one is for the three remote. So as you stack the remotes you need to get a longer and longer bolt uh, to go through them all. So this uh, bolt here is the one I needed and it is a part number 7382815 and uh, those puppies are spendy. They uh, wanted $13 for them plus shipping. Uh, with my dealer, this is the second time that I've got something from Bobcat that didn't come complete with all the parts you needed. So uh, this time they said that uh, they would they would eat the bolts as they should and then they were going to file for a uh, credit from Bobcat for themselves because it was a incomplete uh, kit but uh, the last one they didn't feel like uh, they wanted to eat it and it was just uh, when I did the rear wiper they didn't give me all the bolts for it so I was uh, upset at that but this time they decided to do the right thing and and eat those bolts so that uh, made me feel a little better what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all these bolts out. There's just the three here. Take this top piece off. Then I'll come down and I'll grab the spacer. It'll go in. Then the uh, hydraulic valve itself will go in. And then we'll put that cap back on. Put the longer bolts in. And then uh, put the couplers on. And should be golden. So I'll get this... Uh, cap popped off here and uh, be right back. Okay. So a 12 millimeter will take these out and you got to be careful now because this is what's holding all these remotes together so when these bolts are out they can just float around and there's a lot of o-rings that you don't want to damage so just be careful and uh, I'll try uh, gently taking this cap off you're going to lose hydraulic oil because of what's in it. And looks like I'm going to have to use both hands, so I'll put, set that back down and put the camera down and uh, be right back. So I got that off. And what you want to be careful of is these O rings here want to stick up on top here. So just make sure that uh, you don't damage those and you make sure they're all in place when you do pull this apart. Had to put this bolt back in just to keep these all from wanting to fall off the tractor. So what I'll do is I'll take this out and I'll get it uh, put up there and then uh, get the bolt through it and then I'll put this on top of it and uh, try and keep it all together without it falling apart. Alright, so on the back side of this it's got o-rings also and then it's got the holder for your uh, cable that goes up to your handle in the cab so 
I'll get that put on. It sits on just like so. And then uh, put the actual remote valve uh, on top of it. And then put that cap back on. Okay, so there it's installed. And you'll see, you'll have to get these slotted back in here. So you'll have to move this cable a bit, adjust it. Um, hopefully I won't have to do too much adjusting in the cab to uh, get it at the right uh, position, but uh, we'll see here shortly. So there that's in place now. And I'll put that cap piece on there, put the longer bolts in, and uh, tighten it down. Well, uh, putting two together was way easier than getting everything to line up for three. You have to go through this top piece, the valve assembly, the spacer plate, this valve assembly, another spacer plate, this valve assembly, into the base. And uh, trying to get those all lined up was, was a pain. Hopefully I didn't damage any of the O-rings, uh, but we'll find out once I start it up. So what I'm going to do is, uh, on the other two bolts, this one's just kind of an aligning bolt right now. I'll uh, put some blue thread locker on, uh, on them, just to make sure that they don't back out. And I don't have any problems down the road, and I can still get them out. So I'll put the thread locker on those, back to get them in, pull this one back out, do the same to it. And then uh, we'll put the, the couplers on, and that is pretty much it other than hooking this up. Uh, one thing while I'm looking here is I really wish that uh, Bobcat had painted these prior to, install, uh, to shipping them out. Um, right now it's just raw metal, so if you take it out like it is, it's going to start rusting. So. I painted this other one with what I thought was gray, but uh, now in the sunlight, and compared to the tractor gray, it looks a little more brown. So um, once I get everything together, I went and bought a can of Bobcat Gray Charcoal, uh, 6902229, and hopefully it matches, and I'll get this all painted up and try and keep the rust to a minimum. So I'll get these bolts in and be right back. So once again, the epic battle between engineering and reality has come to a head. What, uh, what they've done here is, compared to the cab, these sit at a little canted angle here. And I'm guessing it's just to keep it away from the, the third point as much as possible. But in doing so, when you start stacking them, you start getting closer and closer to the cab here. And with that long bolt, and this is angled back it a bit, you can't get this bolt in. So you have to pull all of the stack off, tip it, get the bolt in there, then put it back up there. So this is the bolt you need to start with. Get everything on that then just tip it in there and try and line it up. It's a bear. Um, I'm hoping uh, that I didn't pinch or damage any of the O-rings because there's a bunch of them. So each of the valves themselves, each of the spacer plates have O-rings and uh, I won't know till I fire it up but uh, it's not quite as fun as just doing the two remotes was. Uh, this third one turned into being a, a, quite a pain. So now I'll uh, get this hooked up back here. Uh, put the pin through and the keeper. And then uh, I'll get these threaded in. They're uh, O-ring fittings so there's no need to tape them. And then, uh, Go from there. I installed the couplers and uh, these dust plugs come in the kit and you'll want to put them on before you install these. They slide right over this 
end no problem there's a little groove here that they fit into and when you put them on you want to make sure since they're sitting in a package they come kind of bent over and kind of molded that way just make sure you get them on there to where when you put them on you got a nice untwisted uh, bend there otherwise if you get them on backwards you're going to end up with a twist in it to get them to fit but they just push in like that and you're good to go and there is just enough room if you turn them off to the side just a little bit to get all the little tabs, pull tabs away from one another so I'll move up here and I'll uh, put this on these ended up, uh, I'm sure they're metric but uh, inch and a sixteenth worked perfect on them and I didn't have any metrics that went that big so that's all I used um, so yeah I'll move on to this and uh, get this thing wrapped up alright so there it is completed everything's painted up and that paint did match so uh, that is definitely the color you should use now hopefully where it's parked is a little better light for you so you can get a better understanding of how all that stuff was valve body spacer valve body spacer valve body cap and I I wish they offered the uh, different colored handles and uh, plugs but they don't um, just make it easier if somebody like a hired hand was uh, wasn't familiar with the tractor and hooked up uh, hydraulics you wouldn't con get confused on which which one was the blue handle but uh, otherwise it's it's not a, a bad job the just doing two is definitely easier than doing three just getting uh, this piece in here even was hard just because of the the cab bends here and uh, there's just not a lot of room to get this into fished into this holder and then with the cab here this bolt doesn't want to go in so it's not undoable you just got to have patience and uh, some time but uh, I'll jump in the cab and show you but they sent me one spring return and one detent uh, valve body and after thinking about it I'm actually fine with that because that'll allow me to use this remote on something that I want uh, constant hydraulic pressure so like a grain auger or a snow blower or or something like that so I'm, I'm kind of glad that uh, they didn't send me two spring returns but I'll uh, jump up in the cab and show you what that means up here in the cab I've got all the handles and that adjustment that I was talking about earlier that moves these handles one way or the other and what I've got mine set at is they're all in a row at a slight diagonal but you could you could set them up if you want them all straight parallel with your armrest or if you wanted this one further up here this one here and this one way back you know there's not a lot of hand room in between them so if you were had your head turned and wanted to grab a remote I mean you you're probably gonna know which one you're on but just depending on where you had them placed might be easier for you but what I was saying on the spring return and detent these two the factory one is a spring return so you push it up it pops right back into neutral either way same with this uh, second remote that they sent me but this third one is a detent remote which you pull it into place and it stays and I don't know if uh, 
that's standard for the third remote to be a detent or not, but I'm actually glad that I, I have that. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically a second and third remote install. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.